What is going on? Hello, Brian. Hello. I don't know how to say your name. Medio? Medio? I don't know. And 42 Invincible. Sorry about the shakiness of this camera here. It's just the way that this operates. Okay, today we are going to be making this into this. Insert a turtle here. Uh, I don't have a finished one. So, a lot of people are on the uh, list here, which, by the way, some of you know that I've been working on this because I've been emailing you when I have completed your projects. Um, this is going to become a turtle. What we've uh, decided to call the shelved turtles. Also, I have some of these. Um, this one here. Uh, I have to send out tomorrow in the mail. Can you see that seahorse there? Um, today's a holiday, so that's why I'm not bringing it out or sending it out today. Okay, so guys, this is going to be welding. So there's going to be like flashing lights. It's not dangerous to your eyes because your screen won't show the ultraviolet light. Whereas it will show for me because I'm in real life. All right, so... Be aware that it's going to be loud and it's going to be whatever and if there's buffering I'm in my garage and this is the best internet I got all right so let's turn this into a turtle I got I think I got everything here that we need so we need this piece this is a piece of pipe uh, like oil field pipe uh, I have a bunch more of this but it's about four hours away from my house so I have to go get it at some point um, so I found this one randomly not too long ago. That's going to be the shell. Railroad spike for the head. Going to snip that off there. Probably going to blunt this down a little bit. I picked up recently a bunch of butter knives. Those will be for the flippers. Right? I'll keep the other side for something else. And then... We got some nuts for the eyes and stomach shell. I don't know what you'd call it, but some of this. That's how I made all the other ones anyways. All right, so let's get started, shall we? Every once in a while, I will have to stop for various reasons, and then I will get to your comments. So be aware of that. Yes, my shop is still super messy. Okay, let's uh... Move that over there. We will need this. We might need this. And... I guess we'll need this. Okay. I'm gonna try not to bump you guys, but uh, I probably will a few times. I'm going to try to make it, I'm going to keep looking at the camera every once in a while just so I can see what you guys can see and see if it's a good shot or not, okay? Um, okay, so the first part is we're going to grind this, this one. we're going to grind this, or uh, cut it off basically, into a shell. And what I normally do is I take the little, I don't know what it is. It's like this little chalk type substance, I don't know, in a pen, but I don't know where mine is. Actually, it might be in here. It is not. Okay, that's okay. I'm going to use a pencil or a marker. I'll use a marker and that way I'll make it relatively straight. Now these are cut out freehand with a torch, so they're not perfect, but I kind of just uh, eyeball it a little bit and hope it's perfect. Something like that. And then once I have it cut out, I'll be able to tell better if I like it or not. 
long as I don't cut it too short. Okay, I'm actually going to have to cut that in here. Okay, so I'm going to move you guys back a little bit so you can see this. Something like that, maybe. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I'm going to need some safety specs. Okay. Oh no, I scratched these bad. Oh well. Okay, guys, this is going to be loud, okay? I don't know how it's going to transmit over, over the interwebs, but it's going to be loud. terrible for you though. Hmm. Sorry. How can I do this? Maybe if I just go put it on here. Yeah, there we go. Then there's not some crazy glare for you guys. There we go. I can still see that light pretty good, so that's what we'll go with. Now these discs here, I got. I decided to get a more expensive one. These were like eight bucks for this one, and it's lasting forever. I usually get these, um, which is a different brand, and these go through like crazy. So I might not have to change it, but if I do, I have one of these cheap ones. sandpaper on it. This one's actually almost done, but I'm going to get rid of all the sharp edges because, uh, I mean, some of you who have ordered my art know that it, it, it is a bit sharp, but it doesn't have any of these. Do you see those burrs and stuff? Like getting that stuck in you like a sliver, it's, it's not, not the greatest feeling. So we'll get rid of that.
go. More or less our turtle shell. Um, I'm gonna cut it uh, a little bit here and here actually, because I think that'll give me more of the shape I'm looking for. So we're gonna take our marker again. I put over here maybe, I don't know. Maybe something like that. I think that'll work. Where the heck did I put this other marker? I don't know. Okay, loud again. see how it's got a good shape to it of course this is kind of somewhat abstract so it's not going to be perfect or anything so now I'll cut that one off there and I think I think we'll be well on our way okay it's gonna be loud again Okay, so we got our shell kind of shaped out. I'm decently happy with it. It's basically the right shape. I kind of need to take a little bit off of here, so I'll do that just to give it its right uh, whatever symmetry. Okay, that'll work. I'm just actually, just to make that the same over there, because this is, goes down, like the chamfer. I don't know if chamfer is the right word, but if you know what a chamfer is, that kind of will explain what I'm trying to say.
Nice. Okay. So, uh, we need to put a little head here now. So imagine this railroad spike. We're going to put a head coming out of there. We'll probably blunt the nose a little bit more than that. But first, we got to we got to cut off the, the amount that we need. All right, so use the same cutoff wheel, which is getting really small now. Okay. almost useless now however I'm going to save it for the pattern patterning on the turtle shell which I forget what it looks like and I don't have a reference photo right now so that, it's got too much rust on it I should have cleaned the rust off before cutting it off of there oh well we'll just make life a little bit more work but it will still it'll still come out so we're going to use this tool here it's just a wire wheel similar to a wire brush this just goes way faster all right Because do you see all that do you see all that texture in there? Look how nice it looks once it's all shiny. Now turtles are old as dirt, so it's kind of cool that there's texture on them. Uh, or there's texture on this because it'll match the somewhat match the texture that you would find on an actual turtle. Um, I don't know, that's just the way I think about it. Okay. So all the pitting on here becomes like the scaliness of the turtle skin. take all that texture out of there yeah so that is going to be our head like probably like this actually like so come on there we go like so okay uh, Again, I'm probably gonna blunt the nose, but I'm gonna wait till after I have the eyes on and stuff and see if it really needs it. Okay. Okay. I'm going to use two of the same uh, knives. Now I got 31 here. There's bound to be two that are the same. These I got from the thrift store. Okay, these ones. Oh, they're not the same, but they're very close. Mm, dang it, they're not the same size. Okay. These are very close to the same, but they're not quite. Okay, these two are the same. Got these two knives there. 
<laughs> look how nerdy I look with these. Hey, can someone take a screenshot of this? And I can put that on my uh, Instagram. <laughs> uh, so these two knives, we're gonna use uh, th this part, the the spready part for the uh, for the for the flipper thing. Now they might be a little bit too long, but what I'm going to do is uh, shape them into a, a more turtle flipper size, and then uh, go from there. So what I'm going to do. Is put on the vise. Uh, I'm gonna save this for later because it's perfect size for making that texture. Now, normally you want to uh, unplug this before you change your disc. If you're not paying close attention to not pushing the freaking. You know, this is a two, you gotta go like this, and then you gotta push. So it's kind of a safety, but always better to unplug it, which I did not do. Okay, now, I'm gonna be making some, well, I'll show you, I'll show you. Where's the other one, is it this one? Nope. Where did I put the other one that matches it? Look at the dumbass here. I'll put that over here. Okay. These little notches that I have in there are going to allow me to bend it like and then to get rid of those notches I'm going to be doing some tack welding which is going to give it a scaly type effect and then I'll clean it up with the wire brush. So the first time I did this I didn't I wasn't counting on it being uh, adding to the texture I just needed the shape to be there but it's a happy Coincidence. Okay, so here I am just bending it. Let's see if I, I can bring it closer so you guys can get a better look at that, perhaps. Okay. Let me tighten this. Okay. Oh no. Okay, I, I broke the fork here, which is okay because I can just weld it back on. But that means that I'm probably, let me go grab a hammer. Probably going to have a harder time bending that last little notch in the place. Okay. This is what we have now. More or less, not bad. What I want to see, so when I have it on the, oh, like with the shell, it's kind of, you know, and I'll cut it exactly to whatever size that I want. Now I kind of want it to have a little more bend to it, so I'm going to actually cut through one of these 
even more and make that uh, possible. Okay, I'm gonna move you guys back again and it's going to get loud again. So just be aware of that. that so that's got a better look. Okay, you can probably tell that that's quite ugly, but that's exactly what I want for this step. Now I'm going to do it to the second one as well. Now if I was making this into a build video, I would just do some sort of edit so it wouldn't show all that. Where did I put that freaking knife? I just lost it again. Here it is. Okay. So same thing. This one must have been, I don't know, it was very cheap steel. It says right there, made in China. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, this one bent way easier than the other one. So this one must have been, uh, I don't know, different uh, combination of shittiness. Hmm. Since it been, oh, this is the same knife, but it's not the same size. Huh, that's weird. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little more shape in here. same because I believe that would make it look too yeah that's probably pretty good it would look too rigid I don't know if that's the right word so these are my two flippers so it'll be like that more or less okay so next we need the the feet now the feet I usually just make with the back side of uh, of the thing which I think we will do here as well. Yeah. That's what we'll do. That was the wrong grinder. Do a bunch of the steps over and over and over again. But luckily, I don't have to make a bunch because I don't have the material for a bunch. Okay. 
this is what we have. Bam, bam. Bam. Where's the other knife? Where did I put it? This is one thing that always happens to me. If you don't have a clean bench, uh, you lose stuff. But if you have eyes, you're able to find it. And luckily, I have eyes. I'm such an idiot. I just cut it and then I left it in there and I'm like, well, where is it? <laughs> okay. Something like that. Something like that. Okay, we'll need this. We'll, we'll, uh, we won't cut this just yet. We'll wait till after. What we need now is a tail. And I think what we'll use, oh, that's brass, is a nail. That's brass, that's brass. And we have a nice hanger nail here, so we'll use that as the tail. I think. Yeah, something like Something like that. So let me just kind of bring it closer in. Have a look. What do you think? That looks kind of like a turtle, right? So obviously that and that won't be there anymore. And I'll make it so all the pieces fit in there. Uh, you know, nicely. But that's more or less the shape we're going for. Now I wish I had my camera because then I would... I would take a picture of that. Maybe what I'll do is I'll... Uh, I'll do this. I'll take a screenshot of this later. Something like that. What do you guys think? Decent for made out of garbage, right? Maybe. I don't know. Am I, am I ridiculous? Okay. Okay. Let's go over here. I'm going to try to answer some of your questions. I'm going to take these out because I feel like I'm working... For the city again. <laughs> uh, you look like you should have a white lab coat on in those glasses, Professor Josh. Oh, Chris, my man, thank you. And uh, hold on a second, I'm just going to text Hannah. Live one sec. Okay. Uh one sec. <laughs> one hour. It's good there's nothing combustible around. Word. Okay, it looks awesome. Great work. Thanks. <sighs> I forget how to say your name. Is Lewis, right? I just tuned in. What are you making? I am making a um let me take these bullshit things off. I wish that my eyes were indestructible, you know? Um, Sarah, hello. Lindsay, hello. Kathleen, hello. How cold is it here today? It is actually pretty dang cold. It's probably in Celsius. Actually, you know what Celsius is, but for everyone else in Celsius, it's probably plus 15 with wind and cloudy. So that's a cold 15. It probably feels like plus 10. Thanks, Chris. I saw it. I finally got a box of keys sent out the other day. Oh, thanks, Brian. I'm going to check the uh, check the PO box tomorrow where I'm going to be sending out this. If you would like one of these guys, uh, email me, order from Josh at gmail.com. They're pretty dope. Um, we have a bunch to do out of the book still, but some of you know that you're going to get your packages here I guess I will send them out tomorrow as well, but there's still like look I'm gonna All of these are highlighted pink. That means they're all done Look this whole page All highlighted pink. Oh except for one That means that it's gonna send out on the opposite page two of them are highlighted pink two mosquitoes praying mantis Ooh, look at this. This whole page is highlighted pink. It's done. I've been working, guys. I've been working. All right, guys. Let's uh, let's fire up the old welder. 
and get that on. Uh, I've got hail here on the north side of Edmonton right now. Oh, really? Hmm. It is only 10 Celsius here with a lot of wind. It's hot here in Alabama. The video buffered right after you said I am making a <laughs> making a turtle. Okay, let me just get the, the welder on. Of course it's on plug. But that's okay. Because I have these two hands. So I'm gonna have to figure out which one is for that. I got a plug put on right right under here. Very Remember last time? Oh, actually, for my Patreon patrons, they know that I freaking accidentally left the gas on. But we still have a little bit left. Okay, we got gas. We got we got electric. Let's make some melted metal. Okay, so guys, this is going to be very sparky, but it's not dangerous. I know some people are un are uh, not unaware. What's the word? They're I don't know, whatever the word. Epileptic seizures? Is that what it's called? Okay, first thing. Sorry, I'm going to try to make this as clear as possible. Okay, so. I'm going to try to move some stuff out of the way. It's just so that it's not all up in here cluttering the, the video screen. So you guys can kind of see what's going down. Hopefully we don't run out of wire because I don't have any more. That would be such a bummer. I should have checked before I started, but I didn't. Oh, we got tons. It's not even a joke. We're not even kidding around here, guys. We got lots. Okay, what we're going to do first is we're going to put this head into place because the head kind of has like the... It tells the whole story and it tells me where to put everything else. Now I just have to know how far I want it to go out or how far I want it to go in. It would be cool if I developed one where the head could go in or come out, but that's too much work. So all of these are just static for the amount that I have to, this is how much I get paid for them, you know? Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this up inside here because this is rusty and it'll just be a easier weld if, uh, we clean that up first. So let me just take the wire brush. Let me get my safety specs on. Can everyone see okay? It's just not a good shape all the way around because these are cut out freehand when it's when it's the full deal, you know. So, and I don't cut them out. And even if I did, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't take the time to make them super perfect either. Okay, that's what I like. Now I need my ground. Where are you at? Where are you at? Here. Okay. Now since my table is very rusty, it doesn't have very good contact, so every once in a while this doesn't work out on the first go. And therefore I then have to go directly onto the workpiece. Which actually I probably do have to do because on the other side here there's paint, so there's not going to be good contact. So I'm going to tweeze his head like this. 
and there we will have a good contact. Okay, I'm just going to put a little tack there. Let me get on my visor. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Going. Going, going, going. It's a little tack weld to hold it into place and see if I like it. Got it in there. I have decided that I don't like it. I'm gonna have it stick out a tiny bit more and come towards me. So all I gotta do is take a persuader here, knock it off, and then go again. Now I'm just gonna use my my tack there as reference and just say I want it to go little bit further out and a little bit more grab it. Huh. See if that'll work. There we go. I like that. That's pretty good. Okay, because remember, I, I'm probably going to blunt this nose a little bit. Yeah. I actually put it on there upside down from what I wanted it to be, so now I have to blunt the nose. You see how, like, it's got that, like, it sticks out further on the bottom than it does on the top? Well, for a turtle, it, it looks like, at least in my estimation, that the top of their little beak thing sticks out further than the bottom of their beak. Okay, you know what? I have like a Finding Nemo poster there. I might use that as, as a reference. Since it's a cartoon, it's not, uh, it's not super accurate for, for what I uh, was hoping it would be for. Okay, guys. That is good. So now I'm just going to weld it into place so that the head doesn't accidentally come off in the future. Okay, that was definitely overkill, but we're good. That'll never come off of there. That's kind of a sloppy weld, but that's okay. Mother effort, that was hot. I touched a hot point. Okay. Now, now we want to put the front flippers on there. Right? But first what we got to do is we got to make them look how we want them to look. So, we'll put them in our nice part of the table here where it's shiny. Um, I'm actually going to knock this off here. I got some spatter here that's uh, kind of annoying. There we go. Okay. What I'm going to do is fill in those, uh, whatever, those lines, those uh, cuts. Okay.
Same thing with the feet. Uh, I haven't done this with previous ones, but I'm going to do it with this one. Just add a little bit of texture to them. freaking hot so I'm going to have to put on some gloves here. I'll show you what they look like now. I'll have to do this a couple times but so that's what they look like. You can still see some cracks in there but that's okay because I still have to do the back side. Here Okay, I'm going to use the standing disc here. Yeah, that'll work. Excuse me. Corona. Okay, where are those glasses? Sorry, can't. Oh, there we go. You can kind of see the texture in there, and it has like a, a turtley feel, I think. Do the other one here now. Wrong side. The feet are a little different because they don't have any cuts in them, so they only have to be done once. Kind of a before and after, kind of has like a turtley effect, I think. No, it's, it's kind of warm. <laughs> okay, do this one now. Okay, now I am going to take the welder again and do a little uh, bit of spot welding on the back side to fill in all that. And I may have to do it a couple of times for it to fully work, but that's okay. Uh, 
Some people are just negative. Why? What happened? Got to go. Getting ready for bed. I hope Josh keeps it up so that I can finish watching it in the morning. All right. See you later, Mariana. <laughs> oh, it's not a silver knife. No, it's uh, stainless steel. Um, silver doesn't weld very well, unless the alloy is correct. Why do people watch to give a thumbs down? <laughs> uh, that's what the negative thing is. Uh, they give a thumbs Good. We got one of them done there. But this one, same thing. Except for I can't see shit, so one second. I need better lighting in my shop, to be honest. Just checking to see if it looks good on both sides, which it almost does. So I'm just going to fill in the holes that I couldn't on the other side, on this side, and then I'll regrind it. Okay, I might have to do a little bit more, but that might be good, so we'll grind it now.
That's looking turtly, I would say. Okay, next. I'm gonna turn off this welder. You know, conserve power and stuff. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of, a little bit of a hole there. See that right there? I'm going to uh, get that uh, filled back in. All right. So we need a little bit of ground. Okay, there we go. Now do the other side. Okay, this still has a little bit of holes in it, so I'm just gonna fill it up as best I can. Kidding me? Okay, one more. All right, looking turtly. Okay, so. Now we have to figure out length for the arms or flippers or whatever you call them. Front and back. Okay, so that goes in there somewhere and that goes in there somewhere like that. What looks good on the outside? So well, I know that I can cut those off there, so maybe I'll do that right away. Hot, a little warm, and 
that into a nice shape. Okay. So. I really don't know how long their flippers are. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut that off there and I'm going to call that good. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Okay, I'll weld that onto there. And we'll call that gravy. Gravy usually means extra, but in this context it means good. It's not a good jam. Still might not be a good ground. Alright. That seems accurate, I would say. I think. I said it would be cool if I could make the head retractable, but I believe sea turtles can't go into their shells. I don't think they can anyways. Does anybody know that for sure? <laughs> Yo, that turtle's got paws. Back flipper feet. Uh, we're going to put those on somewhere, so we'll kind of do the same sort of thing. Kind of figure out where I like them. Yeah, I like them like that. So, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Put that on. It's a good thing I just laid a heavy weld on there instead of just a bead because, you know, I definitely won't want to change my mind. Okay, good. No, that's good. Good, good, good. Good thing I didn't do it to that one.
Okay, now, so, we'll just take this, uh, come on, take this pinky snipper off. Watch your eyes. Oh, that one didn't go flying, nice. Okay, that is going to go, yeah. I have to hold that with pliers so that I can keep it in place. Looking turtly, man. Okay, I'm gonna blunt off his nose. Yeah, I'm gonna blunt off his nose a little bit. And then he needs some eyeballs. I was gonna do the eyeballs first, but I, I know what I, I know what I think I want him to look like. Okay, now his nose is shiny, so to get rid of that, we are going to use a little... Where is it? We're going to use a little technique I like to call... Where the... Ah, oh, there it is. We're going to use a little technique I like to call brushing. Not complicated. Okay. There we go. Oh, I should have showed you before. His nose was very shiny, but we're knocking it off a little bit. So that it's not so shiny, so it doesn't look weird. Okay. Now, we're going to get some eyeballs. And what I use for eyeballs for these little bastards are, are nuts. So, and dump them out. And we're going to find some small ones that'll fit on his face nicely. So this is much too big. We might not have any that are small enough, unfortunately. And we'll have to use uh, just tack wells. Okay, those are pretty small. That one's small. I know right away that we won't need these large ones. We're going to use those. That's a brass one. It doesn't belong in there. There's another one. Pretty small. That one's small. Okay, so I'm going to try to pick the smallest ones that have a mate, which I think. It's only those two. Okay, these ones are decently small, but they don't have mates. This one has a mate, so, whoa. Hopefully they're not too big, which they might be. Hmm. I kind of forget where their eyes go. These might be too big, guys. I might have to just put two tacks, which is unfortunate. Hmm. 
let me see. Oh, mother. That is hot. I don't want it to look cartoonish, so. I gotta put it on there. I mean, their eyes are like quite uh, like bulgy, like they're getting choked or something, but they're not necessarily. Mother hell, that's hot. They're not exactly this big, so I don't know. No, I can't really show that to you, can I? So having that as an eyeball, just imagining it covering it up too much for you to see exactly what I'm talking about. So let me just give you, I'll make something to hold it there. Okay. That might be good, but it might not. All right. We're gonna give it a shot. Whoop. It's okay for him to swear occasionally, but for some reason swearing in chat, then YouTube will demonetize him. That is correct, because the it can read, but I don't think it has ears. Nail hook. Heads would work also. Yeah, but nail heads don't have holes in them, so they don't really, maybe screw heads could work, but again, maybe not. We're gonna try the nuts. They navigate by the moon, so people need to keep lights from showing on the beach side or use red orange lights. The hatchlings flop to the water. Um. Small ball bearings are beads. The tiniest ball bearings, yeah, if I could get ball bearings that were smaller than this. But, uh, I don't know, we'll give it a shot. We're gonna see what else I have here on the bench. I wish I could just look it up, but I don't have another device. It's broken now. Okay, that's okay. We're just gonna we're just gonna call her as we see her. I'll put one on. If it looks like it might work, then I'll put the second one on. And if that looks good, then uh, cut the head of a nail. Again, a nail doesn't have the doesn't have the holes in it for the for the for the eyeball look. That's the reason why I want to use the nuts. I have more nuts somewhere, but I don't... <laughs> I don't know where. Okay. Let's... That would have been stupid. Look, that's clear. <laughs> That would have hurt. Spot weld holes. But that's the opposite of what would happen. I could punch holes possibly.
know what? I actually don't. I actually don't mind that. I guess you can't really see it that well, but to me it looks okay. Ah, nails on the chalkboard. The second one on. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't put it in the right spot. I hate when that happens. Okay. It's pouring rain outside and Ashley's trying to get the chickens back inside the coop, but they're they're hiding underneath the coop. This part is like super finesse. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. Actually, why don't I do this? Be aware, there's going to be a bright flash, but I just want to show you guys a bit of a close up of what I'm doing. Okay, you can see this one. I've already welded it on but I took it back off because it wasn't quite in the right spot. Okay. Now holding these things is the trick to success. So that's where it used to be. I need to bring it a little bit further back, but also up a ways. Okay. That will almost work. Now I'm going to try to, I might just break it off by accident, but I'm going to try to just get it a little more, ah, I broke it off. But I thought I could just bend it in. This weld is like, it was so poor, like it was just barely hanging on, it wasn't quite good enough oh son of a bitch so I'll just put it back in there 
that's where it was, like that. So I want it to go like, like that. Like. Okay. Damn it. It's almost there. Where did I put that? Oh, there it is. Okay, it's gonna be kind of loud. I guess not. It came off very easy. Yeah. I can't get this eye. The eyes are the most annoying part of these. Well, of any sculpture. I never have them perfect, but I also don't want it to look like I didn't try to get it perfect. You know what? I'm just going to take that slag off of there. I'm going to put that in the vise and grind it off a little bit. Back to looking pretty brand new. Okay, let's put this back on there, shall we? Okay, that's what I like. I don't know how to show you that, but now I'm going to fill in those voids where I need them to be.
Okay. Now, take a little bit of this to it. Take a little bit of this to it. I think that looks okay. Just gonna fill in the welds underneath. And then I might have to flatten his nose a little more as well. Okay. So many cords. Okay. Can somebody, whoa. Sorry, can somebody look up how many how many things go on the back? Otherwise I'll have to just do it later because I don't I don't know how many what are they? Octagons? No, they're probably are they pentagons? I forget what they are. Okay, now to do the the breastplate, which I use this stuff for. And it goes on like so. So, figure that out. I will need the marker again and then I will cut it out, weld it into place, and we are basically done. Just need a marker. So I can move you back down there. Alex is here? Sea turtle eyes actually sit just behind their beak. Yeah, I figured that. Oh, it's a different Alex. Okay, I'm revising my question. Is Josh storing his nuts as Scrat does? I don't know what that is. Oh, Liberty Patriot, that's a good suggestion. I would have to find a, a bolt that fit it, but yeah, that's a good idea. this we need some eyes
to be safe. Let's go on to the, let's hold it with some vice jaws here. our breastplate there or whatever and that should go like that it may need a little bit more shaping which we can do now okay that needs to go over there marks. <laughs> okay, let's weld that onto there. But first, let's get rid of all these uh, ugliness because it's going to show. We will get rid of all the crap inside. Take a little bit more off. Going on. Let me see what I'm going. Doing? Not really. Oh. Don't you hate when you weld your pliers to your work piece?
Okay, here's some more. Okay, now I gotta get rid of those sharp edges. Oh, mother. And I'm gonna blunt the nose. So I'm gonna put it back on the vise here. Did anyone look up how many, uh, what the pattern looks like? Uh, is Hannah still watching? If anyone is friends with me on Facebook, you should send me a picture of, of a sea turtle shell via the messenger because I can look at that without coming out of here. Oh, Chris, that's a bummer. Oh, thanks, Elvira. Uh, no, Hannah's not here still, is she? I don't know. Whoops. Oh, Kathleen. Okay, thanks. If I can look at it, then I will be able to see it. Five down the middle, four to each side. Right. Five down the middle. I just need to get a reference picture. They're not going to be perfect, but they'll be decent. Okay, well, that's happening. I'm going to show this to you guys. I'm just going to clean up this edge here. Oh, uh, a different Hannah sent me, sent me it. That's perfect, I think. Yes, perfect. Hannah knew. Okay. Uh, 
this is a sharp edge here, which it's not so sharp that it would cut you necessarily, but it might. So I'm going to get rid of that. have we been on here for? Almost two hours. Okay. Feels like it's not gonna cut anywhere, so I hope I hope that's correct. Uh, okay. Now I think I'm done with the welder. Turn that off. That okay. So guys, this is what we have so far. Okay. Let me take, uh, whoops, wrong one again. Okay. So, take these stupid things off. So, his nose is a little too long. Actually, I'm gonna look at some of these pictures that people have sent me. Oh, that's the wrong kind of turtle, but that is freaking awesome. Oh, that's the right turtle right there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is take, uh, holy crap, a lot of people sent me photos. 
Thank you, everybody. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a good one, too. That one looks a little different. Okay. Shit, how do I go back? No! The nose is a little bit too long, so I'm going to cut it off a little bit. Actually, I forgot to look at the... Oh, yeah. So I'll cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be good. It'll be good. Okay. So... We will take a little bit of the Buzzsaw Louie. But I want it to keep its uh, general sharp shape. So I'm going to have to do it kind of a weird shaping technique while also trying not to get the eyes. Okay. I'm going to get rid of the paint on here or well yeah I already got rid of some of the paint so yeah I'm going to get rid of all the paint
back to that cutoff wheel from the beginning, which is up here, this really short one. This is how I'm going to shape or put the shapes in. I'm going to draw them so that I don't screw up. Well, it's, I'm still going to screw up, to be honest, because it's, uh, you know, it's not going to be perfect. So, well, let's go with, uh, And I can't see all of that one actually, because it's a link. I can see this one. Okay. Oh, I'm just gonna draw it here, and I'm just looking at a picture on my on my phone. Link, 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 link. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a wait a second. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> These are too big. These are too big. I need to wipe them off. Let me be right back. There we go. Let's start over. Clean slate. I forgot about the other thing there. This is going to be a tiny one. And this is going to go all the way around. Like that. It's going to go like that. It's going to go like that. It's going to go like that. That one's going to be hard to do, sort of. Perfect, son. Trying to get the right size so that it fits in there nicely. It is a difficult task. It's not that difficult, I'm just a bit conservative with my whatever this shape is called.
Okay, so one, two, three, four there, plus that, those ones there. <laughs> Anyone who just hopped on is like, what the heck is this kid even doing? Okay, one, two, six. And this goes like. Something like that, maybe? Let's get this out of there. I think that'll work. Let's get that. There we go. Okay. Now this is going to be the final touch. This is flammable, so let's not get that over there. Actually, I don't know. Here, so that it has a better, I have a better chance of staying within the lines. All right. It's going to be loud, probably. Yeah. <laughs>
just have to look at the picture again here. Uh, which one was it? so I can hear myself think and show you the final product. I think it's the final product. Okay. Just a lazy chill day after finally hanging out, just finally hang out with family. Knock this down a little bit. Okay, there is the turtle shell. Now you can see here I messed up the worst, but eh, I don't really care. I like it. This is probably the best turtle that I made, the best Sheldon that I've made. I like the detail that I put here. The first one that I did, I didn't use knives, I used a nutcracker. But a lot of nutcrackers are silver or not a lot, maybe, but the ones that I have are silver, so they don't weld nicely because alloy, alloy is incorrect. But uh, I think I like the butter knives better. So that first one I did nutcrackers, and then the bottom here I did like uh, ornate cutlery, whatever you call it, handles. This part of the forks, I think they were. Uh, but. I don't have any of that ornate stuff, so using this, like that, and adding those little tacks on there, I think that looks good. Nail for the tail, of course. The belly's looking snappy. <laughs> Too bad it's not a snapping turtle. I uh, freaking dig it. Thank you for everyone who sent me the pictures, by the way. It came in handy to do the turtle shell. So. The next person for the turtle shell, or for the turtle, let's see who you are. Turtle is done. 
So the next turtle, those turtles are done. Lenny. Lenny is the next one for the turtle. So that one I will be emailing you shortly. And this is yours if you want it. If not, the next person who gets one is Bruce. And if he doesn't want it anymore, because some people back out, which is totally cool. It's fine, but yeah. So maybe I'll just hang out with you guys for a couple seconds. Let me take this off, this hurts my neck. And then, uh, and then we'll call her a day. Well, I'm just gonna keep doing this, but I'm gonna get off, off the interwebs, you know what I'm saying? I guess I have to take off my hat for this. <laughs> Thank you for the apron, Roberta. I use it almost every time I weld now. Okay. It's cold out today, so my nose is running a lot, which is annoying. Okay. I don't need this anymore. We'll just put this over here. And I'll put this over here so that we can... I wish I had a separate device so I could read the comments. But I do not have one. Slipped on a screwdriver that was in my pocket. I forgot that was in there. All right, what is going on guys? How did you guys like that build? Do you guys like seeing this? I do these, uh, I'm going to be doing these for my, for my patrons, but I figured I'd see if you guys like it as well. Um, we made this actually for the Patreon folks. Or did I do that for everyone? I don't actually remember. Huh. Uh, that is fantastic. Thanks, guys. That's awesome. I love it. Perfect. So cool. Thanks. Are you going to clear coat it, Josh? Yes, I am going to clear coat it, but I figured that would be kind of boring to, to watch. I am going to clear coat it with that. <laughs> Excuse me. With like an automotive clear coat. So I normally use or a spray can of similar properties. But I think that'll look pretty cool. And it shouldn't damage whatever it sits on. It it sits pretty delicately. <laughs> delicately. It is pretty big. Uh well it's not big, but it like pretty big chunk of steel so it is kind of heavy but it what I like about this is oh you can't really see it but it's serrated right because you know it's just like a butter knife and it kind of adds a extra texture for for you know for it to look more turtly and like his face like the pitting in these old railroad spikes is perfect I have one more railroad spike and so I can make one more once I have one more like this once I have more uh, more shells which I should be able to get more uh, semi soon I think <coughs> hopefully does anyone have any random questions uh, sorry these there we go. Love the texture of the flippers. Yeah, I think that's a good uh, practice. It kind of it kind of adds more character to it to to do that. So I'm glad I'm glad that I that I uh, stumbled across that. Like I mean, I had to like the last time I used the butter knives. I think I made a, a few with the butter knives, but just cutting that, I had to. You know, it was the way I had to bend it, and I had to fill in the cracks. It, it just, 
this adds to it, I think. Makes it, not that it looks realistic because like, obviously this, you know, it doesn't look real, but it, it gives you, it gives you enough realness to pass as something that looks like a turtle. I mean, it would look like a turtle anyways. Like I made, I made this turtle over here. Let me grab it for you. It's a, or a tortoise maybe. I don't, I don't know what it is, but this one, I wasn't going for realness at all. This one's just a piece of yard art that I made out of junk because I just wanted to make something. And there's not much to grab onto here. By the way, that was not, that was, that was this. I did not just let one rip. <laughs> I don't know if anyone heard that, but you know. Anyways, this turtle right here, let me show you. Let's see if I can do this. It is made out of, I, I actually made it because I found this wheel. And so I just literally, you know what? I kind of want to make a turtle out of that thing. So I stopped, picked this off the road, and then I found the rest of the stuff to make this little turtle. And he's just been sitting around. I've been meaning to put him down by the pond, but I just haven't gotten around to it. But his head is uh, from a starter from, I think a Chrysler. Yeah, a Chrysler. And then just some angle iron for his, for his nose, and then some washers for his eyes, some piping for his legs. It's pretty cool, I guess, but it's not as cool as uh, as uh, Sheldon, plus a different type of turtle. I guess, I mean, I don't know what the difference between a turtle and a tortoise is. I know some people just explain it easily by saying, well, one of them is on land and one of them is on water. But, I mean, can't all turtles go on land? I don't, I don't know. Um, hello, serendipity. Hi, Josh. Great to catch you live. I saw Ash's post of your framed photo over her cabinet and the gladiolas. Perfection. Oh, yeah. You guys should go follow Ashley's Instagram. Ashley Rose Alexander. Make sure you don't follow the, the fake one. Uh, Ashley Rose Alexander 9. Been reporting it, but it's still there. What have I harvested from the garden this year? Uh, everything. We had corn, which uh, is pretty good. Uh, spaghetti squash, which I hate, so I haven't eaten that, but we have like a billion of them. If you follow Ashley's Instagram, you can see those. They're pretty big. Uh, tomatoes, uh, which I don't like tomatoes, but apparently these ones were super delicious. Uh, they were like those striped ones, you know, that are green and red. Uh, peas, beans, lettuce, potatoes, and carrots, and onions. Onions. Next year, we plan on doing more. Whoops. Uh, I saw a question here. That how, or sorry, has doing art always been something for you or did someone inspire you to get into it? Well, I've always liked doing art, but to do it for a living, um, I kind of fell into it by accident. I didn't know that, I mean, I knew that I liked doodling and stuff, but I didn't know that I liked painting until one day my friend was like, hey, let's paint. And I was like, nah, painting's lame. I don't want to paint. And then she finally convinced me that it would be fun, and I did it, and then I just kept doing it. Permanent doneness, or at a permanent doneness. Like, I keep doing stuff here and there, but, like, winter's coming and stuff, so, like, I'm like, okay, we gotta do this, we gotta do that. Okay, I have to go to work, because I gotta make more money, so that's gonna take up some time there, blah, blah, blah. And then painting is always put to the side, because... 
you know, it sucks, but it's kind of necessary. Now, if I'm really feeling like I want to paint, then I will. I have done a few paintings, but, you know, I haven't done a lot. Uh, have you broken in the anvil yet? Can't wait to see you use that live. I did use it today, just a tiny bit, um, but I don't have a forge, so I haven't used it, used it. Uh, okay, let's see what else is here. Where did I put the anvil? Right now it's just on the on the workbench over there. You see it? And then you see when I first met Alex, I bought yeah, that vice right there. Not this one, but that one right there from him, which is an anvil vice. That's not the, that's not when that's isn't the day that I met him, but that's one of the first I think that's the first thing I ever bought from him. Uh, I've been doodling slash watercoloring while I'm having to go through infusion therapy, but I ache to get my hands in paint again. I don't know what infusion therapy is, but I hope whatever you have, unless it's something that's you just feel like doing, whatever. I hope you get healthy, or if you are healthy, I hope you stay healthy. Stripy tomatoes are the bomb. I grew a lot in containers on my porch since I've been ill and couldn't work in a large garden oh so yeah you are sick well i hope that therapy gets you well <laughs> that sounds so sarcastic but i'm serious uh yeah our tomatoes next year we did put them in plant uh planter pots or whatever you call them this year uh, but next year we're hoping to put them in planter like uh, what do you call it raised garden beds We'll see. Okra is good. Ugh. Did you pull up your whole garden? We didn't pull up anything. Tortoise is land. Turtle is water. Not interchangeable. Desert tortoise. Galapagos tortoise. Sea turtle. Snapping turtle. Box turtle. Sea. Right. I didn't say that their names are interchangeable, but I, I mean... Sea turtles are born on land, so they obviously can go on land. Uh, my friend used to have a pet turtle of some sort, and he put it on the ground all the time, and he was fine. <laughs> like, that doesn't tell me what the difference is. He just named a whole bunch. Like, what is the difference? Like, what? And same with, like, frogs and toads. I'm like, that is the same thing, but different different species or something like I don't get it and same with alligators and crocodiles I'm like don't play with me I see they're the same freaking lizard giant lizard <laughs> uh, I know there's got to be a difference in there somewhere but I, I just don't know what it is yes my treatments are for the return of gastric cancer but I have been anemic and have vitamin slash mineral deficiencies too so I get the works Fennec Pennergan is my friend. LOL. Well, that's nice that you can laugh at it. I don't know what gastric cancer is, but anything that's cancer is probably not great. So, is actually keeping receipts from the good ones to use for next year? Uh, I don't know. Maybe? I, I, I don't freaking know. Someone sent us, um, uh, marigold seeds last winter was it last winter yeah i think so and uh so we planted some of them this year and only one of them came up so either we are not good at planting which i'm not or something happened to them but the one that came up it's like it's still doing good which is kind of cool um, we didn't plant all of them we planted like 15 of them or something like that. Okay. What else do we got here, guys? Turtles have shells that are more designed for the water. Yes, but that what is the difference between the two animals? Because, like, it seems to me like, okay, so me versus an Asian person. If someone was like, oh, well, Asians are are generally smaller stature and they have smaller eyes and black hair 
they're like I'd be like, oh, so they're just humans that are from China. You know, like what is the difference between a turtle and it does. Like I don't like the difference between a cat, like what makes a cat not a dog? You know what I mean? Like that's what I'm asking. It's not like the shape of its head. It's just like they're not the same animal. But turtles and tortoises, they seem to me like they're the same animal. Same with frogs and toads and same with crocodiles and alligators and, uh, you know, probably other animals. I don't know. You don't have to get the difference, just make them. <laughs> A turtle has flippers while a tortoise has more stockier legs and feet. Okay, those are like characteristics that might make a difference. But is that literally what makes a tortoise not a turtle? Because like I would just be like, oh, that's a uh, that's just a turtle with different legs. Like why did they have to be like, no, no, no. Sorry, sir. That is a tortoise. Like, I understand how you could maybe identify them with those characteristics, but like, what makes it not the other animal? Like, is it a different, I guess it must be a different genetic makeup or something, but like, I don't see, I don't, I don't freaking know. I'm not smart at these things. Maybe Attenborough, next time he's here, I'll ask him. We are telling you. Oh, keep reading. <laughs> okay, sorry, the, the comments disappear. This, the most important thing to remember about tortoises is that they are exclusively <laughs> land creatures. They live in a variety of habitats from deserts to wet tropical forests. Okay. But like, that doesn't, do I like the artist Banksy? Yes, I do. Turtle shells are more streamlined. Okay, again, those are just characteristics. Like I, I gotta, Sea turtles spend most of their lives in the water. <laughs> oh my gosh. See that tortoises can't swim, but that makes it not a turtle because like, am I not a human because I can't swim? Like that doesn't make sense to me. That just seems like that's just a turtle that can't swim. Unlike most sea turtles, which take to land only when they are laying eggs, tortoises don't have much to do with water other than drinking it and occasionally bathing in it. Right. I'm going to look it up. If I can't find it here, tortoises spend most of their time on land and turtles are adapted for life spent in water. Did they used to be the same animal like a million years ago? And then one day, Frank, the turtle, was like, hey, I'm going to... Uh, Wait, is Franklin a turtle or is he a tortoise? Because he's never in water and he has stumpy legs. But his mom and dad are named Mrs. and Mr. Turtle. Anyways, Frank the turtle is like, hey, see you later, friend. I'm going to stay on land or no way, a turtle. I'm going to stay in the water so long, partner, as you climb out of the water and stay on land. And then they evolved to, like, I don't, maybe you guys don't know what I'm asking. Tortoise live in the desert, can go months without water, concentrate in their urine. They only live on land and in burrows, totally different habitats. Okay, but like, there's a frog that uh, we have here locally that if you put it in water, it will drown almost immediately. But then there's another frog that to me looks the same and it swims no problem in water. So... Does that make one of them not a frog suddenly? Because I'm pretty sure they're both frogs. Do you, do you see what I'm trying to say here? I, like maybe I'm asking it in a dumb way, but it seems completely obvious what I'm asking when I hear myself ask it. Just because something can't swim, I don't understand why that makes it not a turtle. Or just because a tortoise can't swim, why? How is that not a turtle? Cause like, God damn it, it looks just like a freaking turtle. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, uh, 
keep reading. The answer is there. I'm, I'm looking. Humans are shaped differently, and you're still, you don't go, oh, wait, hold on a second. That ain't a human. Look at him. He's got red hair. Tortoise is not capable of going in the water like a turtle. They are different. I, I get that they're different. I believe that they're different. But again, you're just telling me that doesn't that doesn't tell me how they're different animals. That just tells me that they are different animals. But like, for example, I could be like, okay, that is a skunk, and the characteristics are that identify as a skunk are these, and that is a cat. And the characteristics that demonstrated as a cat are these, but I didn't explain how they're not the same animal. I mean, they're not the same animal, and we all know that, but like, they're, they're easy to distinguish apart, so you wouldn't be like, wait a minute, that cat is, <laughs> smells horrible. <laughs> that cat, that cat is smoking weed. Uh, the <laughs> but like, how... How I would explain if I knew like the scientific stuff or whatever that a skunk is different is I'd be like, oh, well, that is a such and such. And the cat is a feline. They, they count, they're completely separate based off of those things or whatever. Whereas a turtle and a tortoise, I'm like, well, they look the same, basically. It seems like. It, my argument is it seems like some turtles can swim and some cannot. Just like some types of uh, dogs can swim and some cannot because that dog has shitty short legs and is really fat and its face is bred to be at the back of its head so it can't breathe. Somehow it's still a dog though because it's still a canine for example, right? Am I making sense? Maybe I'm not making sense. Uh, how did people send you a photo of the turtles on your email? On your email? Excuse me. How did people send you pictures of the turtles on your email? Uh, they just sent it to me. If they, they, they're friends with me on Facebook, so they just sent me them on Messenger. Not all turtles live in water like the box turtles, but all tur tortoises live on land only. Right, but like, <laughs> I believe you, but like, th that's what makes it a tortoise is just that fact. They're like, hey, I think that's a turtle. Well, let's see if it goes in the water. Nope, never went in the water. That's a tortoise. Like, what if, what if turtles, a certain turtle that does go in water suddenly decided to stop going in water? Would it then become a tortoise? Like, that can't be what makes it a tortoise. Just that it doesn't go in the water or can't swim or whatever. Because like, like if a fish can survive on land, is it suddenly not a fish? I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. The answer is 42. <laughs> How do you need, now you need to make a hair and see which is faster. Okay, what is the difference between a hare, a rabbit, and a bunny? And there's probably like something else. A hare, a rabbit, and a bunny. Are those the same thing? Because they look the same. Uh, they are not the same, Ella, as it's been stated many, many times. I didn't say they are the same. I said they seem the same. Or maybe I did say they're the same, but I'm saying it in the way as in like, to the to someone who doesn't know like you keep telling me that it's not the same and i i believe you and i like i understand that but like you're not telling me what is you're telling me that one can do one thing and and the other can't but like you're not telling me any information that tells me how it's not because like can all turtles swim 
And can no tortoises can no tortoises swim? Is that how you ask that? Um, and then that's the only thing that makes them one or the other? Or is it like, oh, this one is a... Uh, it's genome... I don't know if that's the right word is... Is one, two, three, four, five, six. But the turtle is one, two, nine, four, three, one. Completely different animal. They just happen to share... Uh, an identity when it comes to physical appearance or like what like I don't know we're like two people that are like you know what I need <laughs> some guy was like I need you guys to design an animal that can uh, destroy go-karts and uh, <laughs> and uh, can tur turtle by the way the go-kart that's a Mario joke Comes with a go uh, with a go kart with a tortoise. One guy was like, you know, they review his first. They're like, okay, your guy, yeah, it's pretty good. Seems like a decent animal. And then they reveal the turtle, and they're like, wow, parallel thought. And then the guy's like, no, 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 this is not a tortoise. This is a turtle. This one can swim. Like, how <laughs> how is that the end of the discussion? There's got to be more to it. And it can't be like, well, that one lives in the desert. Some snakes live in the desert and some live here. They're still both snakes. Or suddenly one like, no, wait a minute. That's not a snake. That's a freaking whatever. That's a scan. What animal do I want to make next? The next animal that I'm going to make is probably in this book. Uh, I got a bunch to do in here. So, but what I want to make, I want to make a giraffe, to be honest. Um, the giraffe I, that I have is, I just need certain pieces. And I also need uh, a way taller shop. Because I want to make a life-size giraffe. But I need someone to buy it. So, I don't want to make it until someone asks me to make it. But I would really like to make a giraffe. I may make a neck of a giraffe so that I can just put it in my house and it'll just be like a little sculpture that sits on the floor. But I don't, I don't know. Or maybe it'll be one that like sticks out of the wall. I don't know. Tortoises have rounded and domed shells where turtles have thinner, more water dynamic shells. Turtle shells are more streamlined to aid in swimming. Okay. You're just giving me more characteristics of one versus the other. That's... They could still, to someone who doesn't know the difference, still be considered the same animal, right? Like, say there's no scientific knowledge. You just be like, that's a turtle, and that's a turtle that can't swim. That's a turtle that has a thinner shell. That's a turtle that has stumpy legs. You know what I mean? But then a scientist comes along and goes like, wait a minute. I've made a discovery. Eureka. We are not going to call this a turtle anymore because of... X, Y, Z, it is going to be known as a tortoise now because we've discovered X, Y, Z. Not that, oh, we've discovered that it swims, so that's a turtle, and we've discovered that one does not swim, therefore it is not a turtle. Does turtle mean swim? And then they're like, you know what? We don't want to change the name of this M many variety of this animal so we will just make up a new name that means no swimming and therefore it will be tortoise <laughs> like i don't so all tortoises are in fact turtles so all tortoises are in fact turtles that is they belong to the order te testudines i don't know how to say that okay Okay, tortoises race rabbits, turtles don't. Oh, and I saw up here that Franklin is a tortoise. So Franklin the turtle is a tortoise. Do you see? I used to watch that cartoon when I was a kid. I would still watch it if I if it came on. And well, I wouldn't watch it alone. I would be pretty boring. But if there was a child, I would probably watch it. I'd be like, oh, it's freaking Franklin. He's the only one who has a name besides his stuffed dog named Sam. All his friends are just the name of the animal they are. 
There might have been other characters that had names, but I don't think so. Yes, the tortoise does not go in the water. Right. I don't care about that. That doesn't is that what makes it not a turtle? That's the only thing. Turtle means swimming. Tortoise means not swimming. We should have called them all Shelleys. And if they were all called Shelleys, then there the argument would be, oh, it's the same animal, it's a Shelly. Uh some of the Shelleys swim, some of the Shelleys don't. Some of the Shelleys have stumpy legs, some of the Shelleys have flappy legs. Some of the Shelleys only go on land and only go in the water if they need to take a bath or drink it. But some of the Shelleys can come on land or in the water. Some of the Shelleys only stay in the water. And then some of the Shelleys can retract their, most of the Shelleys can retract their limbs and head into their bodies. Uh, but uh, some can't. Like, do you, <laughs> how, how am I not getting through? Oh man. You can be taught to swim. A tortoise can't swim. Okay, they can't swim. Okay, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, perhaps the, ar the argument was too flimsy. Um, I can't think of another argument right now, just off the top of my dome trying to think of another human to human argument like I don't, I don't know uh, thank you Willow's dream oh yeah so all tortoises are in fact turtles so they are the same animal but there's like a branch is that like gorillas and chimpanzees they're both apes but one's a gorilla, one's a chimpanzee. Is that is it similar to that? Because that, I can understand that. Even though I can't explain it really. But I can understand that. Um, or at least I didn't see you say that. If you would have said that, then I would have been like, oh, okay. And then I would have been like, is that like gorillas and chimpanzees? Uh... All tortoises are in fact, oh, I'm reading it again from another person. All tortoises are in fact turtles. That is, they belong to the order, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I, yeah, that makes sense. So they are all freaking the same animal, but they've somehow, like, that would be like, oh, okay, so this is a tortoise. Like, oh, right, is that a turtle? Yes, right? Yes. They're like, yes, but that is a tortoise. Is that a turtle? Yes, but that is a sea turtle. Is that a turtle? Yes, but that is a... Another word, maybe. There's another... I don't know. I don't know. Write a kid's book to go with the turtle sculpture. LOL. Yeah, it'll be called The Frustration... When talking about turtles, illustrated by a tortoise. Franklin is a tortoise. Now frog. Okay, yes. What is the difference between frogs and toads? Because they are shaped the same, roughly. You know, they have... Can you guys hear that? I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it is howling out there. I was going to dig holes today i'm glad i didn't because i would want to finish and it would be pouring rain and really windy both are reptiles but with different evolution josh the turtle looks really awesome i've been watching your lives and videos since the potter's house i enjoy watching well thanks darlene crocodile versus alligator yeah when i ask what the difference is i'm like what how is it not different animals people are like well, one of them has teeth on the top and one of them has teeth on the bottom. I'm like, they both have teeth on the top and bottom. Why are they different animals? How, how come it's just not that that one has its teeth there and the other one has its teeth there, but they can both still be crocodiles or, or alligators, whichever you prefer. Like, why is it different? Because it looks the freaking same. Uh, like a capuchin monkey looks the same as a uh, 
what's that monkey? I made like this monkey skull. I forget what it was called, but whatever that monkey is called, they look they look different, but they both look they they're both monkeys. You know what I mean? Just like my my dog Hank is a dog. You can totally tell he's a dog. He looks like a dog. And Shadow, my mom's dog, is a dog. Totally looks like a dog. You can totally tell she's a dog. But they look completely different from each other. So what I'd be like, don't, silly. That's not a dog. That's a... Whatever. That's not a crocodile. That's an alligator. Can't you tell? It's got teeth on top. I think they adapted because they preferred land-based plants and flippers aren't efficient on land. Right. Yeah. Uh, tortoises are in fact turtles. Reptiles having bodies encased in a bony shell, but not all turtles are tortoises. Important thing to remember about tortoises is that they are exclusively land. Snapping turtles don't have flippers. They have stumpy legs like a tortoise. See, that's my point. That's what I was trying to argue. I didn't know that. Or maybe I did know that, I just didn't think of it, but I guess I did know that because I watched uh, Coyote Peterson get bit by one, sort of. And, uh, um, yeah, so I guess I did know that, but, like, I wonder if he explained what the difference is or if he was just like, and they have a different shell. Like that, that doesn't explain anything except for that it has a different shell. Like, you could be like, what are some physical differences between a tortoise, a completely separate animal from a turtle, and a turtle, a completely separate animal from a tortoise? Oh, well, some of the characteristic differences that you can observe with your eyeballs are these. Like, I'm not asking that. I'm just asking why it's, how is it not a turtle? But we've come to discover that it is a turtle. So, fantastic. They are the same animal, but... It's like a different species or something or something. So are turtles not actually called turtles in the end? If, if, if turtle encompasses all of them? I don't know. I'll look it up. And put them in a different clarification, classification family. But like how come the same doesn't apply with dogs? Because like a Chihuahua and a St. Bernard are very different looking but they're both dogs. They both look like dogs, and you can tell they're dogs. They like have the same, uh, well, maybe not completely, but a lot of the same behavioral things as each other, but they're both dogs. How come suddenly you're not like, no, silly, that's a whatever. Seems like a wolf, dog, but they're both canines, right? So is that it? Is that like, is turtle like the canine? Whereas tortoise would be like the wolf. So canine would encompass wolves and dogs. And turtle encompasses tortoises and whatever the other thing would be. Or what? Hmm. I see the wheels turning in your head, Josh. <laughs> uh... Oh, thanks for the super chats. I'll get to those in a second as I scroll here. Oh, I think I missed them. Um, I can't go back that far. I'm sorry. Oh, wait. I can actually click this. Super chat. Karen. Oh, first one. Sherry. Science, dude. All tortoises are in fact turtles. But if they belong to the... Just to order testuni, whatever reptiles having bodies encased in a bone shell, but not all turtles are tortoises. Right? No, I understand that there's science, but I'm just—I was just wondering what the science was, because if the science is solely the fact that they have a different shell, then that seems super weak to me. Like, why would that suddenly make it a different, completely different animal, not belonging to the same whatever? Right, but I, I think I get it now. I'm still gonna read about it just so I can so I can click. Like you know how you learn long division in grade four? Well I didn't get it until grade nine. And then suddenly I was like what? This is so simple. Yeah. Somehow I passed math every year. Uh somehow. I was cheating. That's how I, how I passed. Uh thanks, Karen. 
Okay, I'm not gonna remember that, but I'm I'm gonna try to remember that. Taxonomy, baby. Look it up. You say that like somehow I should have known about tax taxonomy. I've never even heard of that. Or maybe I have. Tortoises are turtles, but all turtles are not tortoises. Yes, no, I get it. But like, does my canine to dogs and wolves make sense? Because like, a canine, you're like, oh yeah, a canine. Wolves, coyotes, dingoes maybe. Probably, right? Maybe even hyenas. I don't know about hyenas, but whatever. So is a, is a hyena a canine? I don't know. Let's just say it isn't, just for argument's sake. Uh, they kind of look like dogs. So you could be like, oh, that's a dog. Just like I'd be like, oh, that's a, that's a turtle. That's a, that's a turtle on land or whatever. Oh, that's a hyena. No, 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 no. Or that's a dog. No, 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 no. That's a hyena. You can see that they steal food from lions. So, no, they're not dogs. I'd be like, what? Why does that make them not dogs? No, no, no. Science, baby. Talk, tax on, talk, whatever you said. Look it up. Oh, right. How stupid of me. They take food from lions. Obviously, it's not a canine. Like, that, that's what I'm getting when you guys are saying your, <laughs> your explanations. But I think I, I think I can understand it now. But, oh uh, yeah, I don't know if a hyena is a canine or not. I believe it's the shape of the nose. That's what makes one one and one the other. Toad is a type of frog. Nice! Okay, super quick. Super. A frog and a toad are the same animal, but not all... Frogs are toads. I like it. But all toads are frogs. Suddenly there's going to be one. But not this one. You can see here that it's got a stripe down its back. Suddenly neither. It's neither a frog or a toad. Ah, they are still people. I, uh, I can't go farther back. But serendipity said something, I guess, that people are agreeing with. Spider monkey. Uh, no, it wasn't a spider monkey I was thinking of. I live in the desert. There are but those turtles happen to be tortoises. You really need to spend a little time with taxonomy books. Send me one and I will spend time with it. If you have a tortoise that can't swim, call him rock. Alligator, rounded snout, croc, pointy snout. Right. But that's the only thing that makes one suddenly not an alligator. You're like, oh, as you can see, they're not the same animal because that one has a rounded snout. How come you don't do that with dogs? That's not a dog. You see how it has its face smushed into its neck? Right. Like, yeah, but it's still a dog because it, you know, it's, it's a dog. No, 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 it's not because it's, its face is smushed. Oh, okay. That explains it. Like, what? <laughs> Most differences are due to where they fit in their environmental niche. Really? That's it? Well, how come frogs can be like in the jungle? They can be in my backyard. There's hundreds of them. They can be uh, like in the uh, Mexico. They can be in the Amazon, they can be in freaking, I don't know if they're in India, but let's just say, for example, they were there. But no, none of the frogs in India are actually frogs. Those are called hoppers. Completely different animal. As you can see, it's hot as balls here. Frogs wouldn't survive. But hoppers, they thrive here because they're a different animal. Isn't that just a different type of frog? Nope. It's a hopper. Can't you see? It's got... <laughs> it's got orange toes. Yeah, but doesn't that frog in that people like get high off of have orange toes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can see that one's got green eyes. This one has white eyes. Completely different. It's not even close to the same. Stop being an idiot. This is a hopper. That's a frog. And that's a toad. <laughs> uh, uh, exactly, Nina. Thank you. Yeah, but... You're saying thank you, but like, how is that enough information for you guys? Like, you're like, oh, rounded snout. 
of course. How silly of me to not realize that it's a different animal because it has a different snout. Somehow you're fine with all dogs looking completely freaking different. Some being like totally off their, like not even from this planet. And you're like, oh no, that's a dog. No one's like, thank you, dog. You silly goose. Like, <laughs> one has teeth that sticks out of the muzzle and the muzzle is skinny. Other one has teeth inside and wide muzzle. Right, but like, how come that can't just be one that is this and one that isn't this, you know? Oh, that's a type of alligator that has evolved to not have its teeth the same way as this alligator. Not like, no, that's a crocodile just because of its teeth. So what? You just, look at my teeth. That's like a mouse trap in there. And then you look at someone else's teeth, they're perfectly straight. Are you like, <laughs> It's not a human. That's a Josh. Look at his teeth. They're all messed up. <laughs> right? Like, th that's, I don't know. Toads, land, frogs, water. But like I said earlier, there's this frog that lives here. They probably live all over the place. I don't know. They drown almost instantaneously if you put them in water. They just, you put them in water and they're just like, whoop, and they just, they're just dead. What is up with that? If it looks like a bear and it starts chasing me, I will run. Hi Josh, what are the dimensions of your empty oval frame? Uh, let's see. Let's see here, I'm enjoying getting frustrated here, but I will tell you the dimensions. Freaking frogs. Toads, turtles, and tortoises, alligators, and crocodiles. What is this? One day God was like, "Hey, Sam, you're making you're making the the the, the water animals, right?" Yeah, I am. God, why? What's up? Uh, could you make some of them very confusing? Make them look the same, but. Make it so it makes no sense that they're different. Word, God, I will do that. How many times do you want me to do that? Well, at least three. Frogs, turtles, and freaking crocodiles. All right, God. I got you. It's 16 by 20. It's like, don't get me started on... Kangaroos and that other animal that looks like a kangaroo. Alligators possess a broad U-shaped snout and have an overbite. Right, that's a physical characteristic, but like, I don't care about the physical characteristics. Like, what is it? Or is that what it is that makes it not the other animal? Like, do they have a different genetic makeup? Are they like one of them? You can see here. That it just happens to look like that animal, but it's completely different because of this, I don't know, chromosome? Whatever it is. It's just like, like, this is not a hammer. You can use it as a hammer, but this is definitely not a hammer. You can tell because, spiel, whatever, right? Or I could be like, oh, that's not a hammer because a hammer has a, has a, hammerhead it's like so that's just a flat hammer no it's not that's actually a knife and it was designed to be a cutting implement not a <laughs> blunt implement for pounding things see if you could explain it like that it makes sense to me there's also pygmy alligators and crocs right so what that's just small alligators and crocodiles but like what makes those different like, would you, what's not, <laughs> I don't get it. Like, cause there's like dwarf people, but they're still human beings, right? They're just short. They have short limbs and short, uh, I think they have normal sized torsos. Uh, but you know, or there's also people who are like, they just, they, they're short people, but they have like normal length limbs. 
what are they called? Proportional dwarfism or something like that. But you're not like, no, silly, that's not a human. That's a whatever. You can tell because they stayed small. Toads are actually a classification of frog. Frogs spend most of their lives in or near water. Toads, on the other hand, get out on land a little more and find their way into gardens and yards. Yes. In fact, the other day, there was a toad and a frog chilling really close together. Like, maybe they're pals. Like that story book that you get when you're a kid. Uh... I forget what it's called. Is it called like Country Frog and City Toad or something like that? Could be totally wrong. Actually, I think that's a mouse story. I don't know. That is usually the best way to tell them apart. By the way, frog eggs are found in a mass of amphibians. Right, but so is a salamander. And you wouldn't just be like, oh. So like a salamander and a lizard, they look the same, relatively. But one of them is an amphibian. So that makes it not a lizard. Because it's it's amphibious or whatever, whereas a lizard is a is a reptile, okay. But a freaking turtle or a alligator and a crocodile, they're both reptiles. But like, so is a snake. So that's not like where in the line. Okay, so you have animal, right? Then you have reptile, and then you have what? And then you have crocodile and alligator. Like, what is the other thing? Like, how does it break down? Wait, so alligators have hairs on or flippers. Or was it shells? No, that can't be. That's a rabbit. <laughs> it is all in the genomes. Okay, I'm going to look it up. I'm going down the rabbit hole now. Later, folks. It's been greatly amusing. All right, see ya. Maybe it's habitat that's separate from, from different types of turtles. An alligator is a type of crocodile. What? Is it really? Okay, so it's the same type of animal, but it's a different type of the same whatever. Similar to like how a chihuahua and a freaking timber wolf are both canines. But one of those canines is not a dog and one of those canines is a dog. Right? Is it like that? Because if it's like that, makes sense. Makes sense, and I'm good with that because I, it, I can, I can chew on that information and taste it for what it is. The other stuff, I'm like, what? I don't even get this. This could be spaghetti, or it could be lasagna. Tastes kind of the same, but different. So keep explaining what the heck this is. Turtle is a broad term that can refer to any reptile with a shell. Are you kidding me? So those freaking, uh, uh, what do you call those? Horn, horny toads. It's not a, it's not a turtle or a toad or a frog. It's a lizard, but it has a shell, does it not? Or maybe it doesn't have a shell. Maybe it's just all spiky. Uh, anyways, how it makes sense. So you can say that a, like, it, it seems like they could have used a different name, but they just decided not to. Whereas they did for tortoises. They're like, oh, that's a turtle, but it's a tortoise. That's a turtle, but it's a, it's a swimmer. That's a turtle, but it's a snapper. Whatever, just to use whatever simple terms. The difference between a crocodile and an alligator, if you see the crocodile in a while, an alligator you see later. Yeah, I like that. Just got here and I'm so confused. No, they are called roadkill and man. <laughs> People are responsible for the differences in dogs. Do this like a breed. Yes, I know, but they're still dogs. And you can make so many different kinds of snakes too, but they're still snakes. If if people can do it, then nature could have done it too. It just would have taken different measures or taken longer or whatever if it can be done because people are humans and we are naturally here so that could be considered natural evolution because we are natural beings of this planet so it just was quick right that 
that doesn't that doesn't matter to me the thing that matters is like a shape of something to me doesn't make sense that that would be what makes one thing it and the other thing not it you know what i mean like Like this, okay? This is SPF. This is OSB. This right here is barn wood. This right here is pallet wood, okay? All of it is wood, but I, I can tell you the difference between all of them and then what makes them, what makes one of them not wood? Nothing, they're all wood. Just like, you know? But you could be like, oh yeah. This is a building material. This is a building material. This is not a building material. This is a building material, right? So I'd be like, okay, well, what makes one a building material, one not? Well, this is a carrying material. It was designed to carry things. This is designed to build things. However, it is all wood. This was also designed to build things, but differently than this wood here. And then I decided to make art out of it instead. See? Like, if it was explained like that to me, like, that was clumsy, but, like, if it was... Uh, tortoises and terrapins are the other two kinds of turtles. See? Terrapins, see? Yeah, perfect. I get it. Not even going to mention a liger. Well, the liger, that makes sense to me. It's still a feline, right? I'm not like, well, what makes that not a tiger? Like, I, don't, I, I understand that tigers and lions are different, but, like, that's not confusing to me because they're both felines. That's the, that's the umbrella that they're under, feline, right? Is there an umbrella that crocodiles and alligators are under that's lower than reptiles? Because if you go, the umbrella that's on top of this umbrella should be reptiles that encompasses all these umbrella other umbrellas. <laughs> that was a stupid way to say that. Josh, what is the difference between a witch and a wizard? I always thought that a witch was a female and a wizard was a male. Uh, I don't know. The dogs are different breeds, generally have genetics related to their original habitat, so I was told by a breeder. Right, so breeds, so maybe a tiger, or uh, sorry, uh, I don't know why I said tiger, an alligator and a crocodile are different breeds of a, whatever this word is, right? So a different, one breed of that is a crocodile, another breed of that is an alligator, and maybe there's a similar thing that's another breed, just like, Komodo dragon and I don't know what's a tiny lizard a freaking anole they're both lizards on top of that they're both reptiles on top of that they're both animals you know The key difference between frogs, okay, that again, that's a physical difference, but that doesn't explain to me why they're different animals. But we've understood now that they are all frogs, right? Smooth skin, covered in mucus, while toes have shorter legs. Yeah. Pat, there are desert tourists, they travel. Pat, well, it does. Tortoises are turtles, but all turtles are not tortoises. Hey, you. Oh, well. They all changed over millions of years to cope with the environment they live in and have food they eat. A box turtle lives on land, and why don't they call it a box tortoise? Right, see, that's what I was trying to argue. I just didn't know about that. I'm just like, so someone, some scientist dude must have been like, we thought that was a tortoise, but it turns out it's a turtle based off of this thing that only turtles have, that tortoises do not have, but now that I've understood that they're all turtles, doesn't matter. I think we got it. Uh, turtles can fully retract in their shells, but a tortoise cannot? Question mark. I know what you're going to be reading while you eat dinner tonight. 
<laughs> Tortoises ride motorcycles. Turtles prefer, prefer jet skis. LOL, I still struggle with math. So do I. I don't like math at all. Okay, what makes everything go black or dark when using that torch or welder? Uh, the heat, I guess. I don't know. It's like a chemical reaction within the metal because the metal has like a bunch of different types of metals in it. And when they get heated up, the particles are like, and then they're like, let's change color and look better. Uh, Dingo looks like a dog, but it's not a dog. Right, but is it a canine? Horny toads are extinct? I don't think so, because I just, I had, I held one, like, last year when I was in Arizona. Uh, it's all in the genetics and the adaptation of the species in their environment. What they need to survive, defend themselves, eat, hunt, and thrive. Uh, <laughs> when is the imagine I was a professor, Chris? That'd be hilarious. <laughs> I I would be just arguing with people. No, but what makes it a turtle and not a tortoise? I don't care what it looks like. Let's pretend we're blind. What is it that makes it not a... T That'd be hilarious. Let's pretend we're blind when we're describing what makes it one a certain animal and another one not that same certain animal. Because I, I don't care that it looks different. Like... If you, like, you wouldn't be like, if I'm like, hey, what's the difference between a elephant and a cat? You wouldn't be like, well, one of them's big and one of them's small. You'd be like, that thing that makes it not a cat is that it has a long nose? Yes. Also, it has big ears. Oh, really? That's what makes it not a cat? Yes. Also, it's scared of mice and cats like to chase mice. Oh, okay. That's what makes it not a cat? No, that doesn't, that's not, that's not. That's not the right information. That doesn't seem like that would be the information that would make something not something. That seems like that would be like, hey, that thing is a whatever. That thing is not that, but they're both mammals. This belongs to the whatever genus or whatever the right word is. That one belongs to the feline family. Felines are this that make them not elephants because elephants are this. Part of this scientific words inserted here. You know? Not like, oh, well, that one's gray and has very, very little hair. But what about this gray hairless looking cat? Oh, no, no, no. You, you forget that this one has a long nose and that one has a short nose. You know, it's like, like if it goes off of that, like, well, this one's wrinkly and that one's not. Well, that hairless gray one is also wrinkly. So, yeah, but you forget that that one can stampede and kill you and that one can't. Well, scale up to a freaking lion. It might not stampede, but it could still kill you. And if you shave it, it'll be wrinkly. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Susie's like I've been trying to clean a dark spot off my screen but it's on my wall that's funny is the head going to have that much of a point I don't know what that means I forget who sent this to me why not? What was it? Why not? NC, but thank you. Uh, uh, once past, uh, uh, okay, this is my name. Dingo looks like a dog. What makes everything go black or dark? I already read that. 
Chihuahua is a dog, but due to selective breeding by people, you have all kinds of dogs. But a wolf is a wolf. But it's still a canine, which was my argument. Right? So I understand that it's not a dog, but it is still a canine. The argument is, is not that. Yeah. Crappy disasters. What did I miss? You missed... All of that wood is different because of the modification to what its chromosomes would have been, right? Like some is designed to hold weight, some are for aesthetic purposes. Sure, yeah. But like, if I was like, oh, the thing that makes it different is this one is speckly and then this one is blue. But like that, that's not enough information. That's not what makes it different. That is what makes it look different. You know, what is... That is because you learned about the different woods. If you Google about different animals, you will know about them too. Yes, I know. But like, if the only learning that I can find is that one has teeth that do this and that one has teeth that don't do that. That's the only difference and that's the only thing that makes that a crocodile and that an alligator. I would be like, that is silliness. Why isn't that crocodile and the alligator are both the same animal called the crocodator? And some crocodiles are alligators, and some crocodiles are crocodiles. You know, that that that's what I'm asking. That probably still doesn't make any sense because it's like it seems like very little people are actually understanding what I'm saying. So I'm probably super terrible at trying to get across the point that is just like right here, and it's just like come on, spill out of my mouth and onto onto a. Excuse me. Onto the brains of all these people in a way that makes sense. Why do they need umbrellas? <laughs> they don't need umbrellas. Uh, well, I wish you'd make an episode of this subject on just joshing with Dakota. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. But... One of us would need to know the difference and then have terrible explanations as to what the difference is. And the other one would have to be me arguing how that is good enough information to decide that they're different animals altogether. And not just animals that are the same animal that just looks different. Like, for example, pigs, okay? A wild boar is the same animal as a domesticated boar. But they look completely different. But they're the same thing. So, for me to go like, oh, well, one of them has a lot of black hair and a real... Like, that's not good enough information. <laughs> if I was trying to explain why they're not the same animal. But they are the same animal. So, you know? Would love to hear Dakota's discussion. Yeah. I think it's because humans like to make things confusing, just like spelling is confusing. Yeah, that's what I'm starting to think as well. Did you sell your train slash locomotive you created? Uh, not yet. If you would like it, you could email me at orderfromjosh at gmail.com. Uh, I can hear Charles Darwin spinning in his grave. Well, he should have explained it then. Maybe he did. I don't know. Well, I hope the recipient of this artful piece will get his or her own interpretation of what it is. Yeah, like I sent it up. Actually, it's not. It's actually a freaking... It's a doorstop. As you can see, it's made out of metal. It's not a turtle or a tortoise. <laughs> Let's not even talk about the caiman. What is the caiman? Is that a type of crocodile or alligator type thing? See, again... I'm not asking what, why aren't they both called crocodiles? I'm asking why are they not like, 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 okay, we got a Doberman and we got a Shih Tzu, okay? But you can call them dogs and everyone knows what you're talking about. You can call it an alligator, you can call it a crocodile, but where dogs would be, replace dogs with what, whatever it should be for crocodile and alligator. And I guess Cayman, right? Doberman, Shih Tzu, here, pick German Shepherd. 
up here, dogs. Crocodile, caiman, I, I hope that's what you're talking about. Caiman is similar to alligator. What is this word right here? It's not lizard, it's not reptile, because dogs is here, or canine maybe you could say. Or no, let's say dogs, and then canine, and then mammal, and then animal, right? Cayman, or alligator, whatever I said, alligator, cayman, crocodile, something, reptile, animal. Uh, yes, when we have construct construction conversation, it is good. Did you mean constructive? Well, I hope the recipient, uh, I already read that. You, you would be great at an Oxford University Union debate. No, I wouldn't. I'd get destroyed because people would just agree with someone who already knows the information, but somehow, if they're terrible at explaining it, like I think that you guys are, you're probably not terrible at it. I'm probably terrible at understanding it. I still wouldn't get it. I would still be like, but what's the word on my forehead supposed to be? Crocodile, caiman, alligator, something, reptile, animal what's the something chihuahua shih tzu german shepherd dog canine animal what's the where dog goes what is it <laughs> i should have a t-shirt that says what's the word on my forehead uh a recipient might think it's a terrapin I forget what a terrapin is, but yeah. Hey Josh, first time on your live, but watch all the time, all the time you're on. Great work you do. Love your work. Thanks, Linda. Elephant is mammal, right? But so is a cat. And when we were talking about that, I'm just saying like, like what? Where would you be? Like, and so is a whale. So, you know, what makes a whale not a fish? Is a fish is a whatever? I don't know. I guess fish. And a, and a whale is a mammal. They're completely different. They look similar, but they're not the same whatever. So what is it about the turtles and the tortoises that makes it different, similar to how a, a whale and a fish are not the same? So one's a mammal and one's a fish, whatever that word is above it. Whale, mammal, fish, whatever that word is. That's what I'm asking. But we've already established that toads are a type of frog, tortoises are a type of turtle. Now, alligators and crocodiles, that's what we have to figure out now. What, what is that? Or wait, did someone say that a crocodile is a type of alligator? Because then I'm, I'm good. There's still that little bit of information that's still missing, but then I get it. And then like the kangaroo, isn't there something else that looks like a kangaroo? I forget what it's called, but like, why is that not? I mean, <laughs> uh, love your tumble. I remember when you unboxed that gift, it, the classifications. Okay, but still, the classifications, the, obviously they're seeing something when they make these classifications. So what is it that they're seeing? They're not like looking at the thing and being like, you know what, Tom? I think we're going to call that a toad and we're going to call that one a turtle. Oh, why is that, Bill? Well, you see, that one has short legs. Yeah, but they look kind of the same. They look very the same. Yeah, but it's got short legs, so. So, do they both hop? Yes. Can they both swim? I forget. Can they both swim? Yes, but it has short legs. Okay, make that classification, not a frog. Like, what? That's that's not that's not enough. They're, they got to see something different. They have to be like, okay, let's freaking microscope this shit. We're going to put it in there. Oh, look at this. You can see that these are different. So all these frogs that we've tested, they're all ABC. But you can see this frog here actually is not a frog because it's not ABC. It's ABD. Oh, okay. It just happens to look like what the ABCs look like but it's ABD. Like, what is that? I'm cool if it just happens to look very similar. I'm just, 
I'm just wondering what is it that's not that's not the same that makes it you be like no that's that they will all be crocodiles from now on when is a bird not a bird when they lost the ability to fly example ostrich or emu are those not birds what about chickens they can still kind of fly it's like that's only half a bird now like you know I've always called them crocodiles because my dad confused me with the same conversation when I was five years old. Yeah, and he was probably like, well, that one has teeth that do this, and that one has teeth that do that. You see? Makes sense? I would be like, no, it doesn't make sense. So what? <laughs> that dog's teeth do that. Look at the bulldog. Its teeth are, like, touching its eyeballs. And look at that one. You can't even see it. He's got, like, neat facial... Lips, <laughs> coverage, muzzleness. Yeah, but they're both dogs. That's the only explanation? Yes, they're both dogs. And the only explanation that those are different is that they have different teeth? Yes. Correct. Correct, it makes no sense. <laughs> Just accept it. Uh, is a roadrunner bird? Yes. Roadrunner hardly ever flies. It like glides. I always see them running. They're running freaking fast. Not as fast as the cartoon, but fast. And that's not a bird. That is a roadrunner. Uh, uh, I love your Tumblr. I already read that. When domesticated pigs are out in the wild, they revert back to wild boars. Yes, I know that. Uh, but like, they're the same animal. So like the, the thing is, is though that they look different in those different states. So my argument is like, just because they look different doesn't mean that they are different is what I'm saying. So a crocodile and an alligator look the same ish, but you can tell the differences, but just cause they have little differences in their physical appearance why does that make them different especially when you look at dogs or cats or hamsters like they're still hamsters but just because some of them have long hair some of them have short hair some of them look like cow pattern and some of them are orange like well actually that's not a hamster that's a whatever no it's a freaking hamster your head is going to explode thinking about the difference between the different animals you still have the train? I still have the train, yeah. Uh, actually, it's at the cake shop. I understand you. I just don't know the answers, and we never got onto, onto the rabbit bunny and the hare. Yeah. I did post the difference between hares and rabbits. Oh, what's the difference between hares and rabbits? Is, is it one of them hops high and one of them hops shorter? Because I'm going to be like, well, those are both the same animal. One of them happens to hop higher. One of them has long ears, and one of them has longer ears. <laughs> like, I'm just going to be like, what the hell? <laughs> one of them has floppy ears, one of them has pointy ears that go up. I'll be like, yeah, like a, a basset hound and a Doberman. I, I would be like, yeah, so one of them's not a dog then? Like, that, it's not enough information. I don't know what you actually said it was, so I'm just talking out of my ass. I point to my head as I say ass. I'll have to tell my mom. My granddad was a train conductor for four years. He used to make things from metal like you do. His porch swing is still being used. You may want to buy it. Oh, nice. Josh's brain is starting to overheat. He's starting to sound like a valley girl. <laughs> You're a perfect example of a seeker, Josh. This is a seeker like on Harry Potter. Josh, this is a wonderful... Josh, this is wonderful. Your relationships, art, work, ethic, and desire to have things make sense leads you down some amazing rabbit holes. No pun intended. Maybe they were hair holes. Hairy holes. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, bunny holes. 2 a.m. here. Going to turtle shuffle to my bear hole. No. <laughs> hair hole. <laughs> Jesus. Nighty night. Don't let the crocodiles bite. All right. See ya, Alex. It is a different type of reptile related to the alligator. 
Josh, I'm sure they all have scientific names that put them all in the same category. Right. So they are the same animal. These. They're all apes. But they're different because of these things. But they're all apes. Just like alligators, crocodiles, caimans are all word on the forehead. Just like toads and frogs are all and probably rabbits, hares, and bunnies, and uh, kangaroos, and whatever that other thing is called. And there's probably other ones. Emus and ostriches. Which one of them has a different size toe. One of them has three toes, one of them has four. So, <laughs> some people have six toes on one foot. I knew a guy, I still know him. He's also blind. Hey Josh, humans need to differentiate to make sense of the world. Next project, make a tortoise so we can see the difference. Right, guys. Is this more of a turtle? Let's say a box turtle or more of a tortoise? Okay. What is this? Someone told me that the box turtle lives on land and has stumpy legs, so... I think Sheldon is a tortoise because if you put him in water, he for sure is not going to swim. <laughs> yeah, but he has thin legs and a sleek shell. You remember that only turtles have that. Took six-year-old to a dinosaur exhibit. She said they better be real ones. I explained they were all extinct. She then enlightened me. She then enlightened me. Wow, bright colors, feathers, some still roaming the earth. Josh, are you just goofing on us? Well, uh, if, I, if I were stoned, this conversation would make sense. Uh, I think I'm on a Bill and Ted adventure. I'm not goofing with you. I actually want to know because, like, everyone who is given an explanation, it must make sense to them because they keep saying the same thing over and over and over again. But to me, I'm just not getting it because I just need more information. I need the information that will make me go, oh, that's the difference, not... Oh, that's how they look different. Like, you may as well also explain to me what their similarities are. It's not going to help me know how they're different animals. But, we're good with turtles and alligators. Uh, now we are on to whales. Mammals base is named that by how they have babies. Okay. Good. Some snakes have live births. Some snakes have egg births, but they're both reptiles. That's probably something different, but I can accept that a snake is not a mammal based off of some sort of information, right? What is that information? That same type of information. So if you have, if you give birth by uh, like a live birth, then I, but like, wh why? Why the heck is an alligator and a crocodile different because they have different faces that are, they look the same, right? They're long ass lizard things. They can kill you. They're green. Some of them have thick faces. Some of them have skinny faces, but like, so what? <laughs> uh, Adding personal and historical perception into the discussion brings a whole new color to the discussion. That This is so cool. Historical perception. Did I do this? Who did this? Personal and historical perception. I don't remember. The family of alligators, crocodiles, and caiman is called crocodilians. Crocodilians! Okay, that's the word on the forehead. Okay, so they're all crocodilians. Good. That's the end of the discussion. I understand. So the thing, the word crocodiles and alligators are different because they're two different kinds of crocodilians. That's what I needed to hear. Frogs and toads are two different types of, what's the word on the forehead? I don't know. So you got frogs or uh, turtles and tortoises are two types of turtles so far. That's the name on the forehead. But like, the crocodilians. See, why didn't someone say that earlier? Oh, because they're two different types of crocodilians. 
just like a Chihuahua and a freaking St. Bernard are two different types of dog. Two different types of canine. A wolf is also another type of canine. Still haven't figured out if, if a hyena is another type of canine. But like, I can be like, oh, well, it's a different type of canine. So it's the same family, whatever, there. Huh. Anyways, guys, wallaby. Yeah, wallaby. Yeah, 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 kangaroo and a wallaby. What's the difference between those? Are those, they have to be two types of, what's the word? Kangaroo, wallaby. What is this? They're two types of marsupials? No, that's too high up. Are they marsupials? Are they, I don't, I don't know. Is a marsupial a type of mammal? They gotta be two different types of something and then maybe marsupial. I don't know what a freaking marsupial is, like a flying squirrel. Everything is just a branch off of an original. <laughs> Josh is cracking up. Am I on the Madness channel? Oh, it's Monday, right? Is it Monday today? Dakota's gonna be going live in two hours. I mean, we got went off the deep end by accident. Oh, and there's my queen. Ashley, come here for a second. Okay, so what is the difference between a frog and a toad? You don't know. Okay, Ashley said one goes on water, one goes on land. Okay, they look the same, right? Yeah. Relatively the same? Okay, but what about those frogs, like tree frogs? Is it a tree frog or a tree toad? Yeah. Right? So I'm asking these folks, and they're like, well, because of these, and toads have short legs, and I'm like, Is it like web feet? That can't be the difference. Web feet? Web feet? Or ability to swim. Ability to swim? Some people have been saying that. I think about turtles. We did turtles, crocodiles, and alligators, tor tortoises and turtles, frogs and and toads and I was like that can't be what makes them different animals I'm like that doesn't make any sense because dogs there's so many different kinds but you're not like well that's not a dog that's a whatever right, right? but yeah but that's a still a canine yeah. right so then you can so then I was like okay you can have a German Shepherd a Doberman and a Shih Tzu and a Pomeranian they're all different but on top of that, they're dogs. And then on top of that, there's canines. And so wolves fit under that umbrella, right? And so I was like, what is it? And then when we got to crocodiles and alligators, I was like, someone was saying, well, a lot of people were saying, well, if one of them has a short or a skinny mouth, one of them has a wide mouth. I'm like, yeah, but that doesn't mean anything because again, the dog argument. So I'm like, what is the information? And then finally someone said, they're both crocodilians. And then I'm like, oh, okay, that's the word then. So, so a crocodile and an alligator are both crocodilians. So they're, they're not, croc not all crocodilians are alligators or crocodiles. They're either those and caimans. Yeah, tiny ones, yeah, caimans. So then, so then, yeah, so then we were trying to figure out with turtles and tortoises, that's actually how it started because I made, that's pretty cool, eh? This is a Sheldon, yeah. So then I was like, what is the difference between a turtle and a tortoise? Yeah. And then people were saying, well, turtles stay on, or tortoises stay on land and turtles can swim. And I'm like, yeah, but that just means that some turtles can't swim to me. I mean, they look the same. They look different-ish. Like they have different things. And they're like, well, one has a sleek design. So some have flippers, some have stumpy feet. Right. Comparing tur turtles to tortoises. But then someone was like, what about the box turtle? That's not a tortoise. That also has stumpy feet. And then I'm like, yeah, exactly. So there must be something else. But tortoises are a type of turtle and different turtles are also a type of turtle. So I think turtle and crocodilian are like the same thing. And just like say canine might be the same thing as, as well. Because I was also like bringing up whales. I'm like, a whale and a fish. You're not like. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to try to run. Okay. okay. Have a good run. Thanks. Uh, probably everyone is saying hi, but I can't see their comments yet. Hello. But Ashley says hi to you guys. Josh, you make me laugh and smile, dude. Can you laugh without smiling? <laughs> but I'm glad I do, Brad. Uh, yes, you can tell Josh and Dakota are brothers. LOL. 
Yeah, but but like we're not the same. <laughs> you can tell that one has tattoos and that one doesn't. So, <laughs> uh, uh, crocs are salt water, alligators fresh water, close relatives, but also have different appearance. Example, snout shape. Right. Okay. But again, that would just be like those happen to swim in salt water. Those happen to. Swim in freshwater. But we got it. Crocodilians. They're both crocodilians. Some crocodilians prefer the salt water, probably because that's where they live and they've adapted to be able to swim in that. And then vice versa for the other ones. Crocodilians, son. What is the difference between a mouse, a, a rat, a mouse, a hamster, a gerbil, and a guinea pig? Say, so, yeah, I don't know. That's. Sorry about the buffering. But then someone might say, oh, they're two different kinds of rodents, but there's got to be one something below rodent that they are. They're both a type of something, right? A chicken is a fowl. Here's a roadrunner bird. You should check out Lonnie something on TikTok first because where God creates things really fun. I don't have TikTok. Uh, okay. We're gonna get, we're gonna shut her down here right away. I'm just gonna. Oh, crocodilians has been said like 38 times, Josh. You just kept missing it. Glad you finally saw it. Oh, good, okay. Uh, that's my bad then. People should have stopped saying the same thing then about uh, one of them is Short snout, one of them is teeth, and one of them has whatever, whatever they were. Because that seemed to be the, the most argue, argued point. Because they are different animals. One is called an alligator, one is called a crocodile. Right. That, see, that's not a, an acceptable answer to me. Because they are different animals. What makes them different? Because... To the untrained eye, I would just be like, yeah. But the thing that makes them different is there are two different types of crocodilians. And I'm good with that. That makes sense to me. Uh, the light bulb went off, lol. Reptile, crocodilian, crocodile, alligator. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Crocodilian, that's the name on the forehead. Right, right here. And then right here is reptile. Reptile, crocodilian. Crocodile, alligator. Frog word on forehead is amphibians. Is amphibians right though? Because there's tons of different types. There's a salamander, right? There's got to be something else. Unless frogs is that word. And they, they just were like, nah, frogs. There's frogs are different types of frogs. And toads are a different type of frog. Maybe. Anura, Anura, Hannah knew, you freaking scientific genius. That's, that's the word. Frogs and toads equal, I probably said that wrong, Anura. But yeah, now we're getting to marsupial, so we must be talking about kangaroos and stuff. The words on the forehead are called taxonomy. Right, so all. Taxonomy is what you need to study, Josh, lol. People are saying hi to Ashley now. All tortoises are in fact turtles, right? That is, they belong to the order of those two things. Reptiles have bodies encased in a bony shell. But some turtles, like a leatherback turtle, eh? it's a soft shell. Ah, macro predated. Macro predated is a family of marsupials commonly known as kangaroos and wallabies, etc. Maybe, okay. I really enjoy your live feed tonight. Very educational. <laughs> why why are, are we all female at conception and some of us turn into males? Yeah, I don't know. See, that stuff, that's not very... Uh, 
interesting is not the right word. I don't care about that. I just accept that. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, sure. The thing is, like, after it's there, why is it this? You know? That is an interesting idea to explore, but, like, I can... For some reason, my brain doesn't go, like, wait a minute. Why is it different? Because, like, I'm like, oh, they're both humans, and that's how humans adapt. Or, or not adapt, uh... What do you call it? Grow? Evolve? No. What's the word? Develop. Develop. They're different because of their environment and how they survive. Salt water. Okay. But that's still, that's not good enough for me because they look the same. So they, logic to me screams in my face that they should be two different types of the same animal. So let's pretend they don't have names, but they are two different types of crocodilian. So it's good. Taxonomy, 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 taxonomy. See, that means nothing to me too, because like, it, they're different because of taxonomy. Well, okay. But like, what about the taxonomy? Because like the taxonomy between a caterpillar and a, uh, I don't know. Great blue whale is going to be different. So that doesn't explain anything to me. Uh, we will never crack the code on this turtle system. I think we, I think we cracked it. I think we're good. I think we, I think we have what we need or I have what I need. Uh, I like it. Ninja turtles were pets till they were flushed down the toilet. Each time the name on the forehead is, what is the family name, etc. Chris says, Josh, you and your crew made my week, made me so happy, and I feel loved and accepted in your crew. Crew. I don't know what you're talking about, but I am so glad that you're happy. Okay, guys. I am out of here. Make sure in a, what time? An hour and a half. I enjoy doing these, uh, everything, I guess. I'm, most of the stuff I would already be doing, but I'm glad that you guys like watching. I mean, this, I would not be having this conversation with no one. This took, like, I don't know, an hour. How long have we been just talking about nothing, really? Uh, hey, Bill. Uh, I will leave this up. I am going to lose a lot of subscribers probably, but that's okay. Uh, uh, I'm glad everyone had fun. I hope you had fun anyways. Uh, too long, but I enjoyed every minute. It's been a blast chilling with you and picking each other's brains. Now since I got on. Turtles and tortoises are test testudines? Testudines? Sick. Okay, that's it. I mean, I don't know if that's correct. I don't know if that's exactly what it is, but if you can tell me like, oh, a turtle is a type of testudine and a tortoise is also a type of testudine, so they're the same thing, just different, similar to a chimpanzee and a gorilla. Same thing, both apes, but different. I like it. All right, guys. Thank you for chilling. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for being su- oh, frick. What did I just do? Uh, God damn it. Okay, let's do this. Oh, I gotta... Okay, let me read this. You're not dumb, but you just have to realize it's all based on genetic. That's what separates species, not all creatures. Genes are compatible. Right, but like, no one told me genetics, necessarily. I don't actually think I'm dumb, for the most part. But like... If someone says, oh, the genetics of that is X and the genetics of that is Y, and they happen to look the same with the naked eye, like the turtle and the tortoise, then I would be like, oh, okay. So it's just crazy that these two creatures evolved to look basically the same, but one of them is this, one of them is that. Not like, oh, one of them has a smooth shell. Like, that's so? <laughs> that doesn't, that's not the right information. That's to me is not enough information to decide that it is a completely different animal. Because 
Like, what about some dogs have fur and some dogs have hair? You're not suddenly going like, wait a minute, that's not a dog. You know what I mean? Uh, but I do appreciate everybody's help and lack thereof because it was fun. So, yeah. Um, oh, wait, there are hares, rabbits, and jackrabbits. Right. Someone said that they said that already, but I don't, I didn't see it. But anyways, my brother is going to be going live. And if you don't follow my brother, Dakota, his channel is called The Madness Channel, right? It's called The Madness Channel, I think. Or maybe it's just called Madness Channel. One of those. M-A-D-N-E-Z-Z -Z channel. And he is going live every Monday uh, in, a, in a Monday madness, he calls it, where he kind of does, uh, you know, he talks, he rants, he gives away art, he, uh, you know, he just has fun with you guys. Sometimes he gets a little personal, sometimes he gets a little jokey, sometimes he gets a little, you know, just, just different every time. Sometimes he talks like how we just had this long conversation, sometimes he draws, so, you know, it's whatever. If you haven't met my brother, go over there, tell him that I sent you. Uh, if you have time and then, uh, subscribe if you, if you would, um, this is going out to, I forget who, but I'm going to message you right now. I'm going to email you. If you want this, uh, I will send this out to you tomorrow, uh, probably. And, uh, we'll go from there. Everyone else, if you are on in the book for a turtle, gotta wait until I get more of these shells or you can get this turtle. If you want, this one's not as cool, but that one, I didn't make it to sell it really. I just made it because I wanted to, uh, but yeah, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate you guys. You guys are swell. Um, also consider joining my Patreon where we will do these types of videos where I build stuff more often, uh, or likely more often there's perks over there and I hope that the perks are worth it because you guys are sick. So Thank you. I will see you later as I take forever to exit out of here. Guys, whoops. <laughs> uh, take care and stay real till the end. Keep kicking ass with both feet, guys.